We're joined today in the kitchen by my good friend, Linton Tapp. Welcome, mate. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for coming in. Now, you're here not only to cook for us, which you've done a few times and I love your cooking, but to plug the book, which has been yeah, out for a little while now. The book, the Outback Pantry. Yeah, it's been out for a bit. It's going really well, I think, because I gave it the best chance possible by just writing about everything that I love. You know, it's not cuisine based. You and know. there's producers in there as well, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Like to me, that's one of the beautiful things about it. I wrote about people that I've grown up with. So there's some really interesting stories in there. And I think that's why people are engaging with it. So great recipes, a little bit of an insight into Linton's upbringing and also yep. the area where you're from. Yeah, yeah, great I think producers. Northern Territory, you know, is such an undiscovered region. People think mangoes and barramundi. Yeah. Naturally, they are beautiful and it's what we push, but there are so many other areas to Northern Territory, and that's what I really wanted to show people in that book. So you're gonna show us a dish that's from the book? If I was cooking this out of the book or cooking it in the Northern Territory, I'd be using barramundi. Okay, barramundi. So but down in Tasmania, Down right? in Tasmania, what have I got? Some, and salmon. Some beautiful salmon. Fresh, you know, probably caught yesterday. Yeah. If you're being very fine and pedantic, I'd put that on the chopping board and do a three mil dice. Yep. But today, everyone at home, I'm realistic. We're all time poor and we want to know how to do something easy. So I'm going to make the mix in one of my favourite little tools in the kitchen and a, in a blitzer. What you've, do you call it? You've used a food processor. <laughs> That's a food one processor. One of my mate. favourite ingredients. <laughs> I don't even know how it's called. I use it that much, I've forgotten its name. Blitzer. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Everyone understands what you're talking about. <laughs> the food processor, which you've used quite a bit when you've yeah. been on the show. Yeah, no, I think, you know, cook smart in the kitchen so you can enjoy it more. Bring things into your kitchen that makes it easier, so food processor's going to, microplane's going to, sharp knife, good chopping board, great oils, start with the basics. All right, we're going to get into it. This is a good one too for kids. Kids love making burgers. They're going to love this one. So gather the kids around the TV and let them work, walk us through making a burger with some good salmon, not barren Monday. <laughs> okay, start off. Let's get this going. I'm going to put all the ingredients into the food processor before I turn it on. Otherwise, this will just end up a paste. Yeah. Yeah. Paprika. Paprika. Yep. Panko breadcrumbs. Yep. Because I like them. You can put normal breadcrumbs if you want. Mustard seeds. You can, you can put uh, Dijon mustard in there as well. Yep. I can open it. <laughs> what is it? Do you put your jars on extra hard or what? When we have guests in the kitchen, I screw them on real tight. So that you get, I mean, your hands are me and I get to pop it open. <laughs> you look good, yeah. Uh, zest of a lemon. You can put zest of lime. I can put some oil in um, if I was using a drier, firmer fish. Um, but obviously salmon, as you know, high fat content, don't have to worry about it. We had some belly pieces in there. Yeah, so. exactly. So extra, extra fat in that. Some chopped parsley. Stalks and all, yep. crunchy flavour. Lefty. Lefty. The, the studies have been done to show that left-handed people tend to be more creative. Well, I'd like to say I'm in that creative bunch, but to be honest, I'm pretty plain Jane. <laughs> So just pulse it until you've got the texture that you want. So it's quite dry, but the fish is going to obviously add some wet. Yeah. One more, I reckon. One more. And Where I did, did you about go to three. <laughs> so this now goes into a mixing bowl. Yep. And what I'll do is just give it a good um, working with the spatula to help it bind. Yep. So a good way to do it. Actually, uh, our old mate Maggie Beer. Oh, yeah. You know, work it against the bowl. Yep. You know, I was originally told to slap it. Maggie's old, telling you to the slap old, it against yeah, the, the bowl. Yeah, the old Master Chef brain's going, you get told to. Oh, it's it was actually a chicken mousse, and I got told to slap it, and so I literally oh. started slapping. <laughs> Did Maggie so, tell you to do that? Uh, she had gone and left oh, me to poor Maggie. So everyone was just watching me slap some chicken mousse. <laughs> She would have felt so, so bad too. Anyway. She's the nicest <laughs> human in the world. Oh, she is the loveliest person. So, depending on the size of the, your burger buns, you can do any size you want. I'll probably get four to five out of this. So they're, they're quite big buns, so. Yeah. Add the batter, add some beautiful lettuce, some aioli, yep. and it's gonna fill it up quite nice, so. Yep. They're done. We'll pop them into the fridge for half an hour. Yep. Let them firm up, they're gonna come back, batter them, shallow fry them, job done. So they've cooled in the fridge for 45 minutes, yep. so they're nice and firm. 
And the next step is obviously the batter. The next step is into the batter. So this is a very simple batter. We got uh, plain flour, rice flour, soda water. And the crucial part to me is I mix it with a fork because I still want lumps in it. I don't want a smooth batter because yep. uh, the lumps are gonna expand when they hit the hot oil and that's gonna give you the crisp air pockets and tempura style. Yeah. yeah. So now that these are firmed up, this is the messy job. Be very careful. Obviously we've got hot, hot oil here. So um, it is. it would be easier to deep fry because mm -hmm. um, you're going to submerge the whole burger at once and it's going to be you know, in there cooking completely both sides. But we're shallow frying today, so... Why didn't we deep fry <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, you know, an important lesson. Everyone knows that gently place your battered product... Away from you. And away from you, exactly. So what I will get you to do, I'll put this third one in. And so the top sets, I'll just get you to... Yeah, yep. yep. Just nap over the top. Absolutely. There we go. So, you know, another thing that I think can be done and people don't generally do it is you make sure you season your batter. Yeah. So you might as well put your, you know, salt, your pepper, you can put other things in there like paprika, chili, and it just adds that extra bit of flavour to it. They're looking good. Uh, might just give them a flip. Top, yeah. Right? See, with the batter, they, you know, they grow by a quarter, these burgers. Yeah. So there's lots of different things you can do. This is just a technique. Add whatever flavour you want. Beautiful. You could completely forget about all this, I reckon. Yeah. That's a little, great little dish. You could have them by themselves, oh, you know. Yeah. And we have got an extra one. I'll just show you sort of the cross section here. Oh, Yum. You can try these by themselves without the burger. Oh. I get the lemon zest. Oh, that's good. The salmon obviously is number one. That's what you want though. Mm. So salmon burger, you mm. want chunks of salmon. Yeah. So very simple construction here. You can add as much or as little as you want. I'm a bit of a, you know, simplicity is best yep. on burgers. I'm with you. So I've got only a couple of things. If you could just put some white pepper on. It's got white pepper. White pepper, black pepper, I'm not sure. With no, no, white I, I grabbed the crest. <laughs> So can you put some white pepper on and I'll grab the crest? So you know, don't be uh, don't be afraid with the aioli. Last bit of pepper, I'll get the crest, just to lighten it up, you know. As I said, you know, this isn't part of my daily five. It's green. You know, I wouldn't, you, you put tomato on this, you put, yeah. you know, whatever you want. Yeah, it's whatever really, you want, it's all it's, about that though. It is, it's about the patty. Um, as I said, do whatever okay. you want. Use the technique and use whichever ingredient you want. And there we have it, my beautiful salmon burgers. My homage to Tasmania. I'm going to try <laughs> salmon burgers, barramundi burgers, flathead burgers. I'm just going to keep making these just burgers. Just batter them, fry them. So good. As I said that, I'll just eat that. Yeah. Put some aioli on top of that. And just send um, it out. <laughs> thank you, mate. Thank you very much. And the reason I'm thanking you this time is I get to eat one of those. <laughs>